Hey YouTube, Ace Painter back again. For those of you who are new to MIDI sequencers, synthesizers, and the like, you're probably wondering what all these envelopes are, and that's what I'm going to cover today. We're going to talk about what an envelope does and uh, why you see these four knobs on almost every piece of software and probably every uh, MIDI controller that's out there. Okay. Uh, what we're looking at right here is a program called Reactor 5.0, which I've chosen because it has this nice little patch called Sound School Analog. It lets us see not only the output, but also our envelopes as they would um, uh, visually be represented. So let's play a few notes here. And notice the shape of this contour right here. This is our amp envelope. And what it represents is the speed at which our volume reaches full value, decays to the sustain value, and then persists after the key is let go. Okay, those are the four elements of our envelope. We have the attack, which is how quickly the sound comes into full volume. Let's listen to it with a high attack. See the way it just kind of creeps up there, like a like a set of strings, maybe. We have middle, where it kind of shoots up pretty quickly, and then we have instant at zero. The decay is kind of the body of your sound. It determines how long your song, or rather how how long your sound will. <laughs> how do I say this? How long it takes to go from your initial volume to the sustained volume. Okay. Your sustain volume is how loud your sound can be played continuously. For example, a flute can play loud as long as you have lungs full of air. Whereas a guitar string, you play it, it plucks, and then it slowly fades out over time. That would be a sustain of zero. Whereas an, an instrument like a pipe organ that could be played continuously is a sustain at full. It never fades out as long as you have a key on the, on the keyboard. Now the release, on the other hand, it happens after we let go of the key. Now I've let go of the key already, but at full release, it's going to take forever for it to decay into nothing. And as I manipulate this, it will scale itself down, eventually reaching zero. Now it'll, it'll reach zero as long as I have it on any value other than full. And at zero, it's instant. It just disappears as soon as I let go. Those are the four knobs. That's what they do. Um, the best way to learn about these is kind of to play around with your own instruments here. But you'll probably notice that on most instruments, or in most cases, there are more than one envelope to play with. In this case, uh, we have a filter envelope here, which does not determine the volume. And moreover, it does not track the values that the amp envelope plays. It doesn't care about how fast this comes in. It's completely independent. And what it governs is our cutoff frequency. If we have a slow attack here but a high attack here, we'll hear a lot of low frequencies first and they will gradually build up. Let's listen. Now I did, but it didn't take very long. Let's try it like this. Our main instrument... No, better not. Our main instrument will sustain forever that means it will play as long as I have a key on the keyboard. However, our filter is going to attack and decay at a moderate rate. Let's listen. Now it's already reached its sustained frequency. I can play with it at that point. We can see the real value of it. And, um, that's pretty much how that works. Let's take a look at another program. This is Reason, and you'll see quite a few subtractors here. Um, each subtractor has three envelopes to play with. One for the amp, which we've already covered, that's volume. Our filter envelope, which governs the motion of this vector. And the mod envelope, which can control any one of these values. Now notice, it doesn't actually dictate the value, but rather this knob determines how much of this envelope will be applied. Let's listen to this bass, which has a detuning effect by using an oscillator with a DK set about these values. <laughs> Sorry about that, I've got to uh, shut down reactor. 
So that's not a very good bass actually, but nonetheless, we can um, we can hear the detuning effect of it. It's a slow, and we can take the um, amount up all the way. You'll hear it pretty drastically. So you get the idea. There are a few creative things we can do here. Uh, this is a patch called Ice Queen. Now, I can play two different pitches at the same time if I'm creative here. I can use Oscillator 2 at full sustain. Notice my release is set for zero here, but it's set about halfway on the amp envelope. That means the note will continue to play even though I let go. However, once I let go, the mod envelope will not apply. Here's the way the note plays high and then low once I let go. This is a Dr. Rex loop using a DK setting to um, use this uh, low pass filter with a high resonance to make a kind of a spacey sound effect. And this is a violin which at full sustain sounds about right. However, if I take the sustain all the way down, now it sounds like a banjo. Somewhat. Let's look at one more program before we go. This is called Fruity Loops, and I give incredible props to the guys who developed this program. This is an outstanding program. And um, one of the things they let us do here, uh, let me load up a sample here, I guess I have enough time. I have this sound here, and unfortunately I forgot to shut off Reason again now, it's, uh, it's always one or the other, sorry about it, huh? it's kind of late. Anyway, I have this sound effect here, and here I have a variety of envelopes that we can play with. We have one for volume, one for filter, um, that's our cutoff frequency, and we can determine the amount that it applies right here. We have the resonance which, um, again, is pretty much a component, um, a component of every filter we'll encounter. And not only that, but the pitch frequency. So I can actually use an envelope to determine how our pitch is detuned. And that's what that sounds like, and the inverse. And it is actually following this envelope. If I, um, if I crank it all the way up, it sounds different from, from that. So fantastic job, guys, on, the, on Fruity Loops. They really made it possible to make an incredible variety of sound effects. Not only do I have all these envelopes for all my settings right here, but I can also adjust the tension. I don't know if you can see this. You might have to zoom in a little bit. Let me try this one. Um, this is my resonance right here. Notice I have a very long attack. And in, I can actually adjust the curvature of this attack so that it's not a linear path, but rather sharp in the middle and slow along the top or I can do it the opposite way and um, any value of a cosine thereof but I can have a sound which boy I don't even know how to describe it we can get some pretty wild variations out of there very subtle effects but you can you can sort of mimic sort of uh, maybe the imperfections of the human human lung capacity or something like that using uh, the proper envelope or if you want to play around with your pitches yeah, you can get all kinds of wacky effects out there. You might not want them to be necessarily linear. So, uh, that's what I got. These envelopes are going to appear in every place you look. And um, some will have more knobs than others. Fruity Loops has a, um, an offset for the pre-delay so that I don't have to have the envelope come in right away. It also has a hold time, which um, you'll see in Reason, I think only in one spot, reasons and an XT sampler has a hold value which we can use not only on the mod envelope but also the amp envelope make use of that it basically just um, gives a bit of extra time for the decay that's all it does it just extends the decay time so that it won't decay right away but rather it'll rise up to full volume hold for a moment and then start to decay to sustain volume I think that's all I got for this tutorial. I hope this explained things in detail. Envelopes, like I said, you're going to find them everywhere, so it's best to know how to use them. And um, you can get a lot of freedom and a lot of vari variation out of your instruments by clever use of envelopes.